is Empress Virgo, of Empress Virgo Tarot, back again with another reading. This time it is a one I am feeling energy message for the collective for the week of July 3rd to the 9th of 2023. Again, that's July 3rd to the 9th of 2023. I hope you guys are staying healthy, happy, and safe out there. And I appreciate all the love and the support that you guys give to me and to the channel. It is much appreciated. Um, uh, so the astrological overview for the week of the 3rd to the 9th it's pretty interesting. So for those of you who are in the United States, we'll be celebrating the 4th of July. Um, and that will be on Tuesday, I believe. So um, Monday's energy is going to be very prodding. So everybody's going to be like switching from being productive, focusing on nine to five creative endeavors and shifting their focus to family. So this day we call Independence Day is going to be filled with a lot of spontaneity, a lot of closeness with family and friends take it how it resonates with you so make sure you spend that time with some people that you love okay um on wednesday so people are going to be going back to work okay um so don't be so surprised if before you got off of that holiday break if you didn't take care of whatever projects or bills that need to be paid or taken care of uh in your home life or at work don't be surprised when you have a, a, a pile of stuff to do when you get back to work or back into the swing of things after the holiday, okay? So make sure you prepare for that. If I were you, I would get that stuff done beforehand. Um, but during this week, Mars will be exiting Leo early on this next week coming, um, or this week, making Thursday the last time the red planet will be triggered by any challenging fixed sign aspects so if we get through this uh energy um that that stubborn obstinate energy will dissipate okay so by friday you're, it's going to be very productive can't talk a very productive time for you to get things done at work okay if you're looking for a new job schedule an interview or send out your resume during this week okay um, for others, make sure that you reach out to clients if you already have a job, make pitches and network, okay, when you get back in the swing of things after the holiday, okay. The weekend is up for anything uh, from socializing to creativity or working on some stuff that you needed to wrap up. But this is also a week for being spontaneous, going with the flow, like I always tell you guys, follow your intuition. Saturday is going to be a good day for brunch. Or Sunday could be an ideal time for brunch or a date, okay, with your significant other. So the best advice that I can give you guys for the week ahead of July 3rd to the 9th, don't worry about this energy of being bullheaded or uncooperative on Thursday. The rest of the week is going to have a wide variety of opportunities for us to get inspiration, collaborate, have ideas, and connect with others, okay? So coming off the holiday break is going to be a great th time to collaborate, get your ideas out there, and get some stuff done. The top astrological event of this week will fall on Monday, the full moon, and it's a super moon in Capricorn. It's going to be opposite of Mercury and Cancer, and we're going to have a trine with Jupiter and Taurus. So if you've been going down, let's just say a one-way street with blinders on, <laughs> career-wise, this can be an opportune time to take a new approach, pivot, or do some things that will help things to work out a little bit better for you. Um, by giving up on certain things are, that are outdated or outworn, you can actually make some strides in your career professionally, okay, or in your creative endeavors. Take that how it resonates for you guys, okay. I know that was a mouthful, so... You can always rewind, guys, okay? So let's get into the astro cards, the tarot, and then we'll follow up with an oracle card, okay? Yeah, it just upside down. Eh. Okay, look, when I split the deck, the moon is right there. Bowling in your face, okay. Eh. Okay, so Divine Holy Spirit, what additional energies will the collective be working with for the week of July 3rd to the 9th of 2023? July 3rd to the 9th of 2023. The energy for July 3rd to the 9th of 2023. 
right. First out the gate, Ascendant, Outlook, okay? Worldview, mission statement, ex expression, effect, role, mark, attitude, outer self, point of view, body image, aura, likeness, approach, impact, first impressions. Look or yonder. Pluto, transformation, renewal, inner resources, basic instinct, motivation, personal power, evolution, composting, cycles, death, rebirth, subversion, suspicion, obsession, intensity, reckoning, taboos, cleaning, clearing, maybe some of y'all will be cleaning, I'm just saying, or extremes, okay? We have the fifth house, passion, performance, entertainment, creativity, costume, play, love, affairs, passion, pleasure, parties, Children, humor, romance, disco ball. The sun, being. Essence, energy of self-awareness, life force, spirit, creativity. Hmm. Uh, honor, masculinity, distinction, childishness, ego, individuality, solitude, expression, self-sufficiency, shine, heartbeat, and father. Semi-sextile, allowing. Encourages, sees the potential, and clarifies, gives hope to, compensates, intuits, tempers, responds, cycles, grows, realizes, and rewards. Mm, okay. Taurus, the bombshell. Earthy, practical, steadfast, productive, fertile, tactile, ample, worthy, ripe, pleasure-seeking, sensuous, blooming, solid, possessive, tenacious, loyal, patient and deliberate and Aquarius the innovator experimental rational unique liberal electric group oriented humanitarian free radical eccentric diverse futuristic utopian idiosyncratic disruptive edgy and detached <laughs> okay and the energy at the bottom of the deck, Capricorn, the ball, serious, authoritative, ambitious, realistic, structured, traditional, wise, enduring, accomplished, bad, A, majestic, competent, prepared, down to earth, corporate, rigid, reserve, rigid, and disciplined. So we're coming out of that energy, getting ready for the holiday break, and then coming back into that energy but in a creative mindset and getting some things done during the week. Okay, that's what the astrology speaks about. So let's get into the tarot. All right. So we have the King of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective for the week of July 3rd to the 9th of 2023? Some of y'all are going to be going to like different state fairs or different events where you're going to be having a lot of time with your friends and family. So enjoy that. Be aware while y'all, but enjoy that, okay? Just saying. Some of y'all are going to get a lot of creative ideas coming to you that you can use in your career, in your creative endeavors. So make sure you, I would say, jot that down and keep note of it or keep track of it, okay? Just saying. Gonna get some inspiration. Lovely. So we have the High Priestess, the Strength card, the Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, the Four of Pentacles, the Star card, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Ten of Wands. Okay. Three of Swords overall energy. Some of y'all is like some stuff that you may be experiencing, you like, oh my God, woe is me. Um, but for some of y'all, it's like going through a grieving process or stage. Um, I feel like, though, the energies for a lot of you guys, especially with this super full moon, is going to create some breakthroughs, but it's going to be some very strong energy, and it's up to you to be able to harness it. So meditation, prayer, chanting, journaling, Taking some time out for yourself during this week because this will be a busy week cosmologically. And like I said, with the holiday at the beginning of the week, it's going to be a lot. Then we have the super full moon, which will be the first one that Capricorn. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Spirit say, hey, the moon is in Capricorn. 
Yes, it is. And that was on the bottom of the deck, okay? So that moon is going to be very intense. It's going to be balanced, but it's going to be intense. So a lot of us are going to be like, oh, my goodness, what is this, okay? Your intuition is going to be popping, okay, with the high priestess sitting there. So if something don't feel right, don't question it. Just go with it, okay? Uh, if your intuition tell you, hey, we should be here or we should leave here at a certain time, a certain place, go with it, okay? Trust your first mind, your intuition, okay? Uh, for some of y'all, y'all are learning your strength. Uh, for some of y'all, this is coming up through a dark night of the soul. Transformation is right underneath Pluto energy. For some of y'all, y'all coming out of whatever this is, that seems like the three of swords energy for you. Stronger than what you know, okay? Three of swords and ten of swords. I keep feeling this dark night of the soul. But for some of y'all, it's like something is coming out about somebody betraying you or doing something, and you sitting there like the queen of swords, like, oh, baby. I knew. The owl talks about knowledge and wisdom. It's like somebody might be coming up with something or telling you something that they thought you didn't know to see your reaction. And I keep feeling like y'all already knew. And you looking at them like, oh, you thought I didn't know that? You already knew because you're the high priestess or the high, the high priest for my fellows. You already knew about something that someone did to you or something that occurred that, this, uh, that someone thought would affect you a certain way, but you grieved that a while ago, for some of y'all, years ago. But they keep trying to bring it up for some reason. For some of y'all, y'all literally going through some type of trials and tribulations during this week. And the best way to stay calm is to remain grounded in your energy, whether you have to go outside and put your feet on the actual ground and soil, do it if you can. If you can't, do your meditations to help you transmute this energy, this three of source and ten of source energy, so you can remain in balance, okay? But for some of y'all, it's like, uh-uh, I don't know what this is. Some of y'all are trying to remain balanced, but it's like everything is coming at you at once, and you feel very, very, very like you want to close up and hide, okay, run and hide, okay? And Spirit is saying, uh-uh, you're almost through. You're almost to the other side of whatever this is. I feel like it's dark night of the soul, transmuting some energy, okay? Going through some things, purging some energy, getting out of that that energy, whatever it is, that negative energy, whether it be depression or whatever you want to call it, okay? Uh, hashtag, I am not a doctor. Consult your medical doctor, physician, licensed clinical therapist. If you are having some type of uh, episode or problems with your mental health, do that. Consult your licensed clinical doctor, licensed clinical physician, okay? Had to put that in there, y'all. The star card talks about healing, getting through that energy, okay, moving forward, okay. Um, for some of you, like I, I was telling y'all before, there's going to be a payoff for some, but y'all, it's been a long journey. Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. You getting what you deserve, you're getting, for some of y'all, the help that you need, balancing out the energies that you need, getting the tangible uh, rewards that you've been waiting on and working for. But, baby, you didn't have something on your back as you were doing it. Uh, for a lot of y'all, I feel like that's you literally taking on the shadow work. And if you look, if you can see, I hope it shows up, that, that shadow, that reflection right there in that card. A lot of y'all been carrying a lot of stuff that may not have been y'all's. Like I said, a lot of y'all doing actual generational karma work for not only yourself, but both of your bloodlines. Okay, as far as that, I can see that means generations on generations on generations. You clearing stuff, and you've been the one in the family, in the bloodline, clearing it up for, for everybody. For generations that's living, generations that have passed on who are in the ancestors realm, and generations in the future, okay? So I feel like a lot of y'all have been clearing that karma those burdens whatever those perceived burdens are to you something is coming to an end ten of wands come on now you might have been seeing ten ten on a digital clock ten of swords ten of wands that's completion okay you know what comes next ten of cups ten of pentacles that's the ten ten i want to see baby i'm just saying but whoever i'm speaking to whoever resonates with this reading you clearing some stuff 
whoever I'm speaking to in this reading, you're like the backbone of your family. You the one that everybody be coming to. They don't want to listen to you half the time, but they come to you for advice. They come to you to fix stuff that they should that shouldn't have been messed up in the first place. Because you told them what was going to happen, but they wouldn't listen. That's just what it is, baby. Ooh, we who that was for. Okay, let's see. Spirit, please help me to conclude this reading for the collective for July 3rd to the 9th. What additional oops messages <laughs> do you have for the collective for July 3rd to the 9th of 2023? Mm -hmm. That's too many. Let's see. That's three. <laughs> okay, let's see here what these say. Thank you, universe, for helping me see beyond the limits of fear. Thank you for expanding my perception so that I can see what is for what is of the highest good. Oh, that's a nice one. That's the Queen of Swords energy and Ten of Swords energy, seeing beyond the fear and Ten of Wands energy. When I lean on the faith of the universe, peace becomes real. So you going to get the peace. Just have faith and know that it's coming. For a lot of y'all, y'all might be dealing with anxiety. Stay grounded and get in meditation mode. I'm just saying. When I think I've surrendered, I surrender more. Knowing you can't carry all these burdens, whatever those perceived burdens are for you, you know what they are. Surrender them to spirit. Maintain a mindfulness practice, whether it be meditation, prayer, journaling, chanting, grounding. Do what you need to do. Talking to a licensed therapist, counselor, or doctor, that could be a mindfulness thing. You're taking care of you, so you won't stay in this three of swords energy, then that ten of swords energy. Taking care of you so you can take care of the things and the people that need you. Okay? All right. So that's all I have for the collective for the What I Am Feeling energy message for July 3rd to the 9th of 2023. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, share, subscribe, join our tribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.